Good morning. Uh, today I wanted to talk about all the uh, inconsistencies working with the uh, great stuff home. Now, um, our experiments have uh, brought us to a point where, yes, we can do some casting. You know, the inconsistencies, if you're good, if you're fine with that, well, well you save some money. Now, let me, show you what we, let me show you what we came up with. So, uh, this one, as you can see, is nice and full, cast well. Alright. Um, this one, you know, we had a lot of rain the past couple of days, so a lot of humidity. And this one looked exactly the same uh, just after it came out of the mold. But apparently it must have absorbed some moisture because it began to shrink. So um, that sort of thing happens all the time. Uh, likewise, this horn, which I took out yesterday, see if the camera will adjust to it, um, that resembles this one that shrunk. So since they kind of match, we're going to use them. <laughs> no sense in wasting stuff. Now, granted, we're casting over and over and over again, different, uh, slightly different formulas. Uh, now, this one is a copy of this horn. This one's made uh, hand-carved. This one is from the casting. And uh, it, it's relatively the same. Uh, I kept casting these open face molds. The open face molds almost always shrivel, no matter what you do. I uh, haven't quite figured out why it does that, but I've never gotten one that came out exactly the same size as the mold. They always shrink. So, um, that prompted me to come up with a different type of formula. And so what we did, or I did in this case, uh, was um, reduce the Great Stuff foam with some acetone. Uh, and that would be about one capful to uh, 16 ounces. That's about take this cup and make it about half full. That's about 16 ounces, one pint, and turns it into mm, kind of a, like a syrup. You uh, take some cheesecloth and uh, you lay that into your mold. Lay that in there and you brush the cheesecloth, wet it out like it was fiberglass resin. Now this is exposed to the air. Remember that point when I said to where it's a, the open molds always shrink? Not in this case. It doesn't. So you better have some good parting compound in your mold because uh, I have actually pulled little pieces of chunks off my mold because I didn't prep it properly. See that? And it's holding its shape. Let's say we wanted to do skull faces. You know, it's really tempting to just spray it full of foam and then wait. And guess what happens? Pop it out, it shrinks. Looks, it's going to look like crap. Or, uh, and, when, and sometimes when these shrink, they don't shrink just a little. They shrink like half their size. They look like an apple that's been laid on the counter too long. So you have to come up with a lightweight skull that we can... Um, go over and over and over again. Inside this uh, mold, there's a couple little bumps where they injected it. And so you want to clean those up before you use the inside of the mold. They're really hard to cut, so got a piece of metal here. You could use the head of a nail or whatever. And uh, just heat it up on a torch and kind of smooth it out on the inside like that. Paste wax, furniture paste wax. Line our molds with it. Rub it all around. Now, from what I recall, if we spray just a very thin layer in here, uh, you know, don't try to fill the whole thing. Just all around, the, just as thin as we can spray it in here. It should dry without having to worry about um, any moisture. So let's give that one a shot first because 
uh, you know, I've sprayed it on plastic before, and it came out father treatment, just all by itself. This uh, is probably the third attempt, or fourth attempt, I can't keep track of them anymore. Uh, we're doing castings in skulls. Now, this one is the uh, a mixture of um, reduced great stuff with uh, about 50% uh, talc. And so you could see that um, it came out pretty nice. It's pretty solid, like plastic. You got about two ounces. So we're going to fill this up until we get about four ounces. Alright, so that makes it 50 50. How's that? That looks pretty clingy. On the uh, onto the side of the mold. See if it sticks. Uh, it looks like it's sticking really well. So we're going to pour it in there. If it um, if it doesn't seem to cling to the wall, then that means we're going to uh, have to add a little more talc. Here we are again, uh, filling in the balance of the open face mold information. All right, so as you recall, we had um, uh, tried a couple different formulas. Now, uh, and we ended up with skins that uh, look pretty good. So I had the brainy idea that, okay, we'll take the skin and then we will backfill it with the uh, with the foam. So, what happened? Um, when I backfilled it, even though it it still tried to shrink, go figure. Uh, apparently, you know, anytime you're getting more than an inch, this stuff wants to shrink. So, um, I don't know if you can see it here, but it tried to suck in the temple on this one. And this one, you can see, this one was very rigid. This is a good one. Uh, it really tried to curl up, and but uh, you know the most of it is still usable for what you want to do. The um, let's call it hard coat. We went and uh, uh, we could have filled the mold up a little more and seen what happened, but um, uh, the the shell that we made uh, was very strong right in the area where it puddled up and uh, much weaker along the edges where it dripped down. That's why we were trying to make, um, you know, a different type of mold. All right, so uh, here's a third one. Kind of did the same thing. It sucked in all the edges because I filled in the back side of it. So, um, where's... This is the one that came out in a sand casting. Now that was technically a two-part mold, um, but boy, it's, it came out nice. Now you could still paint this if you want, but you know, just by itself, this is not a type of service you can get with paint. This is cool. So rather than fill the back side and then then try to mount it, all I did was I put a little bit of foam at the top where um, I intend to mount it. Now this is fresh. We'll come back um, tomorrow and see how that fills out. But I think that because it's such a small amount of foam that it can't contract upon itself and, and cause any deformation. Here we are with uh, um, another uh, test. Now we used I you know, may have to go and do like two coats in here or, or reinforce it with something. Okay, I'm, I'm reminded of a quote. 
Uh, you know, mixing from uh, Casting Secrets, um, first one, all you need is moisture. Well, it's not that hard. Yeah. <laughs> Harder than it looks. Alright, so uh, um, I damaged it. Because this, uh, when you put that much uh, talcum in there, and that's a rigid mold, you, you need a flexible mold so you could peel this out. But, you know, I took a screwdriver in there, pried it to get it loose, and voila! The, the foaming action, very minimal now. Uh, and um, uh, that's pretty hard. 24, uh, basically, you know, uh, yesterday I poured this. Uh, it gives me a nearly perfect mold of a hard coat. How many days have I been using this same can? All week. I would get to do more experimenting. Alright. Uh, one of the first things is, well, plaster works really well. That plaster is very heavy, especially if you cast the whole damn thing in it. Now, uh, how do you lighten plaster? Paralite, vermiculite. Okay, in conclusion, the uh, rigid molds, open face molds, aren't going to work for you. You're going to need to uh, have a uh, make this into a uh, silicone mold, which you can see in, in other videos. Now, the reason being is that when you cast your hard coat, uh, which you likely have a couple layers of it, uh, it becomes very brittle and uh, you won't be able to get it out of a rigid mold. It will stick. And uh, so you want the flexible mold so you can peel it off of your rigid right here. So. Um, we learned a couple do's and don'ts. Is don't backfill it completely because it will crush it. Um, so you uh, uh, you can uh, use that material rather effectively, um, and there are other materials that you can use that are um, also inexpensive and easy to use. Uh, I do kind of like the hard coat. It works well.